We felt vindicated watching the camp burn. However, even though we proved we could be trusted, the home army still treated us like enemies. We were interrogated for days. The officers of the home army wanted to know everything. Who we were, why we deserted, and every conceivable detail about German military operations. Lucas had put in a good word for us, so eventually they let us go. Of course, not because they trusted us. We were simply another asset they could make use of. It turned out that the documents we stole contained reports of mass exterminations by the Germans, of millions of Jews and Poles. What we witnessed in Panari was just the tip of this unspeakable iceberg. I felt sick to my stomach. The home army wanted us to infiltrate one of the German concentration camps and gather first-hand evidence of the genocide. We were to become witnesses to the atrocities. But before I can tell you what happened next, I need to explain how we crossed paths with the so-called Silent Unseen. Trained in the United Kingdom, the Silent Unseen were elite Polish soldiers and paratroopers, well-versed in the art of covert operations. Their motto was to win your freedom or die trying. They were known as rubble and lead. Okay, those two shouldn't be a problem anymore. We're close to the main square, finally. Our contact is some woman and she'll be waiting under the map. The map? Yeah, apparently the fucking crowds have put some huge map in the main square showing their conquest. Hmm, pretty good propaganda idea if yours me, Captain. I told you, stop calling me by rank on assignment. You're too used to it. Affirmative, Sir Led. And no, sir. Move ahead first. I won't blend into the crowd with that rifle on my back. I should have no problem with that. On the way, sir. I told you something. Okay. Sorry, Leonard. Call me lead, god damn it. So <clears throat> ditch the rifle. <laughs> well, landed well. only a couple of hours ago and I've already uh. seen like a hundred of their troops. The eastern front is getting closer. Kraut's probably moving their forces towards the front line. I've heard the commies have reached Minsk and my beloved Lvov. Magus will rob everything again. Well, probably there's nothing left out there besides my family. I hope they're all right. I've had no word from my folks since 41. Being here makes me like just to throw everything away and go to war sort of finding them. Oh, would you run away from your duty, sir? <laughs> you know me. I would never. And don't call me sir. Okay, so he's higher than this guy then, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we'll... Well, okay. What's this? Ah, it's a... Sniper, huh? Okay. So this entire area is covered by a sniper then, which probably indicated. Ah, hello. Ah, we can use sewers to move about, huh? But I think we want to take care of these snipers first. Is that a Russian... No, it's... Yeah, that's a Russian... Uh... Interesting, very interesting. Uh, so we need to deal with the snipers somehow. And 
then I guess if I walk in here, I gotta, you know, not be safe. <clears throat> yeah, we should probably get out of there as soon as possible. Yeah, looks like I'll have to throw some knives around. <laughs> I'd prefer to throw grenades, but it doesn't seem to be a good idea here. <laughs> This is not a civilian area, then. Okay. Suspicious behavior. Okay, so how can I get up? Okay, there's some civilians here to keep an eye out. And I am a... I have played Desperados 1 and 2, which means that I'm not gonna kill civilians. Knocking them out, fine, but, uh, you know, killing civilians is a no-no. I can actually get back here in a minute. Hmm. No? <clears throat> ah, okay, so he, he's got in that area, he's got in that area. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the map, but because of his damn rifle, I just can't get up there. I think... I think you can just walk up there, unless I need both. Probably need both. Hmm. Looks like our contact. Aunt Sophia left the city. She must have missed her husband. Where's the other one? I was told there was going to be two of you. Ugh. Okay, yeah. Yep, he's damn rifle. Hmm. I can... No, I need to get... Ah, wait, hold on. I saw it. There we go. Yeah, 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 of course. Need to work up on my perception again. Never really had a great one of those. You know, like looking up. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of stuff like that. Um. Hmm. So close. <laughs> oh, that's that's me. Who's looking at this dude? Ah, he's gonna go back there for a while. Great, thank you very much. Hmm. 
Eh, I'm gonna have to wait for him to get back there and do his business. I was extremely lucky, wasn't I? <clears throat> again. Mm. Yeah, I guess that, and you know, I guess they uh, they need better, uh, what is it? Yeah, when you go into like combat, the, uh, your, uh, your AI, your AI will shoot if they're getting shot at. I did not see him, what the fuck were is he? Uh, come on, F9, I'm pressing F9. But what? Hold on, something is fucking off now. What the hell's going on? The fuck? The fuck? What the hell? Game just fucked me up. I'm gonna see my goddamn mouse. What the hell? We felt vindicated. Watch. What the hell? Like, there's my mouse. Now we we landed only a couple of hours. So what the hell was that? Was it because I fucking accidentally tapped out? Fuck that shit. Oh, for fuck's sake! We felt vindicated watching the camp. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. We can do this easily. Fucking hell, Mike. Ugh. Looks like I'll have to throw some knives around. <laughs> I'd prefer to throw grenades, but it doesn't seem to be a good idea here. Okay, so don't fucking press the wrong button or you're fucked. Uh, another thing I didn't do was to press the wrong save button. I didn't do that either. Lay down, please. I mean, I, that's another thing. If, why don't you just lay down? You know, you know. If I told you to stand up, you can stand up. But if I told you to lay down and then you climb, please lay back down again. That, oh, yeah, sure, I will get over it sooner or later. Okay, so they can't punch. Oh. 
Okay. That worked. Gonna have to... Okay. Deal with him. From outside. Alright. One stalker down. <laughs> right. <clears throat> That was interesting. I just thought that was like marking that, you know, here's a sniper over here, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> and I can have to kill everyone, don't I? That get me in here. No reason for that just yet. That will just like down and hide. What's this? Yeah, we're gonna have to go in there. I'm quite sure. Please lay down. Or as you were. Will civilians betray me? They might. Please hurry up. Nowhere 
where else I can hide. I gotta have to hide tail it here. I need to get I can't go here because these guys are busy looking here, so I need to cross the road somehow. Darn fast. these guys that are patrolling as well. But yeah, if I can get rid of this guy. Oh, everyone is guarding everything. But I think if I can get this guy down here, then he should be hidden enough. We will find out about that in a few moments. Then we have to consider. 
the ease of probably not know they are talking to each other. So. Open it first, okay. Never mind. Um, body kind of just left the body there, but hey ho. It's been a while since I've played too, so I haven't, you know. I figured oh, oh, for fuck's sake, that, that tiny centimeter. Tiny centimeter. You know what, let's get him over so we don't have to worry about it. Not you. Right away. You. Hmm. Looks like our contact. Aunt Sophia left the city. She must have missed her husband. Where's the other one? I was told there was going to be two of you. Sophia left the city. She must have missed her husband. Follow me. It's not safe talking here. Ah, oh, damn, lady. Your charming look reminds me of Greta Garbo. No shit, soldier boy. That's where my alias comes from. And that is. Oh, Greta. How creative. Listen, both of you. Your job is the assassination of Helmut Koch. He's the SS Obersturmführer responsible for the liquidation of the Jewish ghetto here in Bialystok. 800 people killed, 10,000 deported. He's right there in the restaurant on the other side of the square, having a birthday party with his buddies. Now this monster is actually the bastard son of Eric Koch. Daddy took care of his career in the SS, and now he seems to have a lot of fun. Any plan, my lady? <sighs> the plan is to booby trap his car. One of you is supposed to be an engineer, I hope that's correct? That's your service. Good. The problem is we didn't manage to organize any explosives on time. I don't have any with me. The only thing I have here are some German grenades. Well, just don't use them until things get hot. Plan B is to get some charges from the enemy. They have an armory in the post office over there. They took over the building in 41 when they pushed the Soviets back. It's been their headquarters ever since. Oh, one more thing. Try to find some mines there, they should have some. Mines? Yes. After Koch gets blown to pieces, the SS can only get here along that street. Great opportunity for casualties, huh? The lady who sounds so vengeful. It's very appealing to me. 
You would feel the very same if you spent some time under their occupation. And would you stop with that lady thing? I was told the second one of you is a good marksman, so maybe take care of theirs and give me a break. There's plenty located on the roofs around here. Huh. One more and thing. now we get told. If you have any problems getting past the street blockades, come back behind the map, both of you. I'll get them distracted, but I don't know for how long. 